Hey, welcome back guys. I'm just checking on my potatoes. They're coming together pretty nicely. They're just about finished. So Katie is here. She's gonna show you how to make that coffee trifle. So I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again. And today I'm gonna finish up the coffee trifle that Kim started off the show with. And she began with this lovely mascarpone cheese and she added in a little bit of egg. And secondly, for ingredients, we're gonna be using some lovely biscotti. This is nice and fresh from the store. And we also have chocolate chips. You can use semi-sweet or milk chocolate, just whatever you'd like for that. And a little bit of coffee. And if you're from the campus around here, you know you can just run to Wawa easily and grab some coffee, or you can use some you've brewed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is have a little coffee, set it aside in a bowl, perhaps give it some time to cool so you don't burn your fingers when you take the biscotti and you dip it in. You just wanna get it lightly soaked in the coffee just to kind of soften it up a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier and adds nice flavor. And also for this biscotti, um, at the store, they offer several types. You can get chocolate covered biscotti. I've seen it with almonds and chocolate. It's just your options. You can try different types too. So I've got this nice and soaked. I'm gonna just begin with making a bottom layer in a lovely dish or at, right here, I'm gonna use a glass just to make nice presentation. Okay, got a nice layer of biscotti in there. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a layering of this mascarpone cheese and add it in. And it's so nice to use a clear glass because you can really see all the different colors of the ingredients we're using. And I've always been told that you eat first with your eyes and then with your stomach. So that nice presentation is really key and it can add a lot to a dish. Okay, great, I've got a good layering of that. And I cheated a little bit and had a testing of this mascarpone cheese and it is delicious. It's got a really nice, clean, fresh flavor. It's got even a hint of vanilla, it seems like, almost in there. Okay, and got a layering of that. And the next thing we're gonna do is layer in chocolate chips. These are so delicious, so good. And just a good covering is fine. Perfect like that. Okay, and then we'll head back to that biscotti. Dip it in the coffee one more time. And this dish is very similar to tiramisu, but I was thinking how you could change that up and just make that a little bit more economical to do. And I had some biscotti just around the house. I love it for breakfast or a quick snack. And I just thought maybe trying dipping that in the coffee would be very good and similar to the tiramisu. Okay, just roll that around in there. Get that nice and soaked. Perfect. And just break that up once again. You're just layering. Perfect. And this is so easy. If you have little kids around the house, they can help you out making this brunch and make it just a family thing and include the whole family and everything. Great. Okay. And then next back to that mascarpone cheese. Perfect. And this is such a nice dish because you have all the different textures in there. You have a little bit of a crunch still in that biscotti, the sweet creamy texture of the mascarpone cheese, and then a good crunch of those chocolate chips. So it's really lovely. All right, let me get a second layering in there, perfect. And then to finish it off, that presentation is key once again. So I'm just gonna use a couple chocolate chips, sprinkle those right around top, just like that. And this dish is so pretty, you can even use it for a dessert, perhaps after an Italian meal. It's a really nice compliment. And then finally, just to top things off, I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of some of that biscotti right on top just like that. And this dish is fast and easy. You can easily make it at home, so I really encourage you to try it one time. Perfect. And I'm just gonna finish breaking this up, and when we return, Kim's gonna put everything together to make this fast and economical brunch, so stay tuned. back guys I hope you enjoyed that little segment with Katie that tiramisu trifle looked incredible so it looks like our dishes are all finished I'm gonna get stuff plated you'll remember I have these beautiful Leonese potatoes those were those um, fresh Yukon gold potatoes cooked with caramelized onions and some bacon So I'm just gonna lay a little bit down on the bottom of our plate here you may have noticed by now that I'm a big fan of layering so I always start with a nice base on my dish those potatoes look great they're creamy they have beautiful roasted bacon flavor and some nice buttery potatoes. All right, put that back on the stove. I'm also gonna get a frittata out of the oven. That looks great. Look at that, see it kind of looks like an omelet, but you know, not folded over. 
It's got the beautiful flavors of those fresh green bell peppers, some yellow squash, some onions, bacon, a little bit of mushrooms. So the way that you serve this is that you just lightly cut just straight across. You're basically going to be cutting this almost like a pie into little wedges. So just make sure you get your knife gets all the way to the bottom. And I know our producer Alex loves, loves, loves eggs, so I'm going to cut up a nice big piece off of our frittata. Get a spatula. I'm just going to lift that up. Let's hope it comes out in one piece. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Just cut this a little bit here. That looks great. You can see the nice layers throughout of those fresh roasted vegetables. I'm just going to lay that right on top of our potatoes. Okay, and then I'm just going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of parsley just for an added flair. Looks so great. And there you have it. That's our vegetable frittata with our beautiful Leone's potatoes. This looks so gorgeous, Kim. And just to finish this off today, I have this um, coffee trifle right there, easy and ready to go, just like that. That looks great, thank yeah. you so much. All right, so we have here our beautiful Leonese potatoes on the bottom. Remember, those are made with those gorgeous Yukon gold potatoes, a little bit of sauteed bacon and caramelized onions. And then our vegetable frittata, which also has a little bit of bacon, because you can never have too much, um, with some fresh green bell peppers, fresh mushrooms, and some beautiful yellow squash. And then we also have our coffee trifle, which we started off with just some mascarpone cheese and eggs. Let that set up in the fridge while we did the rest. And then we also added in some biscotti dipped in coffee and a little bit of milk chocolate chocolate chips. So that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our show. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned to Everyday Gourmet. In three, two, you're rolling, Katie? This will and be two, and an one. Love. This will be. One second, sorry. This will be.